the ultimate underdog just happened. Oh my gosh, on the same night, uh, or I guess on the same week uh, of the uh, Evander Holyfield special where they covered uh, Buster Douglas beating Mike Tyson. You gotta be kidding me. Ronda Rousey loses in the second round by knockout to Holly Holm. Look at Holly Holm basically just standing over Ronda Rousey, making sure that she is like the first person that Ronda sees. Once she wakes up, there's there's no doubt in my mind uh, that is what she is doing here. Um, honestly, I can honestly say that I gave no chance to Ronda Rousey losing this fight. I thought no way in the world uh, that Holly Holm was going to win. Um Holly came, Holly Holm came out to the, the Octagon. I was wondering if she came out to Cotton Eye Joe. I had no idea what the hell theme song she was playing as she came down. Um, Holly Holm doubts that Ronda has ever been hit um, you know, in her career. Holly, Holly Holm believes in herself, but there was no way in the world, even as, as Holly Holm was saying this, I even believed the words that she was saying. Um, uh, basically, I, I posted a pre-fight... Um, uh, video with my thoughts about the fight. Oscar Mentes, huge shout out to this guy. I don't know if he said it just because he wanted to be the outside guy, but he is the guy that said that Holy Home was going to shock the world. I can't believe it. Uh, they came out to the octagon to start the uh, the fight. Uh, Ronda Rousey, because of the uh, pre-fight skirmish that was during uh, the uh, Weigh-ins yesterday did not touch gloves. Uh, they came out for the fight. Normally, there's a car crash right in the middle of the octagon uh, for Ronda Rousey fights. But uh, basically, Holly Holm was on the run. Uh, basically, inside of the octagon, there's an octagon track that surrounds the monster logo. And Holly Holm was just on the run around and around, making sure that she did not get pressed up against the cage. Um, you know, basically, um, you know, the, the Ronda was chasing and chasing. She desperately wanted to get her hands, and this left herself open. Uh, to, uh, to, to to trying to get this. Um, Holy Holmes uh, w was able to hit kicks. She was able to hit punches. And as the fight went on, Ronda opened herself up more and more to the point where Ronda was just getting rocked. Uh, first, she had a bloody nose, which turned into a bloody chin and just was a bloody mess out there. Holly Holm, even at one point, did a takedown on Ronda Rousey, immediately not falling for the uh, mistake uh, that... Uh, uh, that, that, uh, that mistake that, that she had made. Um, my buddy Brandon, the instant classic eight, he said he put a $20 bet on Ronda, on, on I apologize, he put a $20 bet on Holy Home, paid off $950. This is how big of an upset this was. Um, I can't believe it. Ronda got desperate. Uh, there was no doubt in my mind that she lost the round one. She came out from round two, and uh, Holly Holm had the same game. Uh, she bet she did, did uh, basically hit a kick, which hit her in the in the chin and the neck. And Holly Holm is your new UFC women's champion, um, the ultimate underdog. You can't believe it. Um, Wow, this is something they're going to be talking about for a long time, especially with Ronda Rousey going off to make movies like Roadhouse and her autobiography movie. Um, she's de definitely going to be a, a trailblazer for UFC that everybody looks back on for bringing women's uh, fighting to UFC. But uh, wow, losing this fight and uh, you know going off to start a movie career. We'll see what happens from here. Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here. The biggest shocker uh, that we've, we've seen in a long time. You definitely got to see that uh, Ronda Rousey may be getting the rematch at UFC 200. I guess that definitely that's a long time. Eight months uh, for Holly Holm to be champion. You think that she's probably going to have to defend the belt once, maybe even twice, uh, to set up that rematch. But that's probably going to make UFC um, 200 um, so much bigger. Um, I, you know, I was basically um, trying to think of um, what I was going to say the plans were for Ronda Rousey. If Ronda Rousey um, won this fight, you know, basically she's she said that she was going to go off and she was going to... Um, make uh, some movies she was going to um you know start in roadhouse she was going to start in her autobiography movie um you know there's rumors that she might even show up at at, at wrestlemania 
Um, but uh, definitely, and, you know, everybody wants to know, you know, basically when the next fight was going to be. Definitely, if you think about the planning for UFC 193, a lot of people were thinking that it was going to be Misha Tate going up against Ronda Rousey, thinking that Misha Tate was even a better opponent uh, because of the fact that, you know, um, Misha Tate, even though she got knocked out last time very fast in the fight, she is the only person to take Ronda Rousey out of the round one. And people thought maybe Holy Holm was somebody that just stood in there because of the fact that she was undefeated. Um, you got to think for Ronda Rousey that her next fight more than likely is going to be a championship rematch. Um, but you got to think that if if Holly Holm books a fight for three months from now and Holly Holm loses that fight and Ronda Rousey isn't able to come back, Holly Holm should be the one to step up and be able to get a rematch for her championship. So maybe this messes up the fact of, of Ronda Rousey getting an automatic rematch for the fact that she's going to be stepping away from UFC. She's going to be going off and, uh, you, know, you know, trying to make movies and uh, trying to, to, to see what she can do. Uh, Ronda Rousey are, was already at the point where basically she... Um, Thought she had done everything in UFC, but she was going to fight all battles until all battles were done. You got to think that Ronda Rousey has that uh, match out there against Cyborg uh, that people have been looking for forever. Who knows that this kills off that deal? Um, who, who knows that this kills off her movie deal as well? Maybe they're not going to want to make a movie on her after this loss. But um, Holly Holm shocked the world. Um, she did what, what basically nobody thought was, was, was going to be able to do. And uh, we're now looking at a new champion standing over the women's division of UFC. See, and I don't even know where Ronda goes from here. There's so many different directions, but my guess is that we're going to see her fight inside of UFC yet once again. But there's always that rumor about WWE. She said many times that she would love to go in that direction, and maybe that's something that fits her, knowing that she's only going to have to fight uh, or wrestle uh, once a year uh, for WrestleMania, maybe a SummerSlam. Maybe she can be sort of a Brock Lesnar deal. Um, lots of different directions that could be going for Ronda Rousey, WWE, and UFC.